So, hello ulit grade 10. Ang topic naman natin ngayon ay polynomial equations. So, let us first define polynomial equations. So, it is made up of one or more terms consisting of numbers and variables. So, yung usual na nakikita natin sa polynomial. May number, may variable, may exponent. Sa equation, meron lang pagkakaiba ng konti. For example, x raised to 4 minus 5x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0. So, ano ba to? Expression ba to or equation? Kapag ka may equals kayo yung nakikita, yun yung equation. Yun lang yung pagkakaiba niya sa expression. Another example, x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals 0. Now, this is not just an expression, but instead, this is equation kasi may equals 0. Okay. For example, tell the degree of each of the given polynomial equations. Now, yung degree, kagaya ng napag-usapan natin sa polynomial expression, ganun lang din. Now, the degree of the polynomial is based on the highest exponent. For example, 3x raised to 5 minus x raised to 7 minus 7x minus 18 plus x raised to 4 equals 0 and x raised to 9 minus 10x plus 3x raised to 5 plus 21 equals 0. So, ano yung degree yung nung dalawang polynomial na to? So, dun tayo sa una. So, since the highest exponent is 7, therefore, the degree of this polynomial is in the seventh degree. Ganun lang yun. Kung ano yung highest exponent, that is the degree. Ano, kahit hindi pa yung naka-standard form, basta titignan nyo lang yung highest exponent, that is the degree. Another example, yung pangalawa, the highest exponent is 9. So, ibig sabihin, the degree is in ninth degree. Ganun lang yung degree ng polynomial ulit. Pag sinabing, pag ang hinahanap natin ay degree ng polynomial, nakabase lang tayo sa highest exponent. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay, another example, solve for the roots of each polynomial equation. Now, yung pagsasolve sa roots, parang ganun lang din sa expression. Di ba may ginamit tayo doon na rational root theorem? Ganun lang din. Pwedeng gamitin yung rational root theorem. Pwedeng yung usual na pagpa-factor. Depende sa given. For example, x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals 0. So, since ito naman ay perfect square nating matatawag, hindi na nating kailangan pang gamitin yung rational root theorem since naka-squared naman to. Ang gagawin lang natin dito, isip lang tayo ng dalawang number na kapag inad, ang sagot ay negative 6. At saka, dalawang number na kapag multiply ang sagot ay negative 16. So, ano yung dalawang number na kapag kainad ay negative 6, tapos kapag ka times ay negative 16? Anong dalawang number yon So, yung dalawang number na yon ay 2 and negative 8. Because 2 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 6. And 2 times negative 8, the answer is negative 16. So, therefore, yung roots, balik rin lang natin yung symbol nyan, instead na positive 2, the root is negative 2 and instead of negative 8, the root is positive 8. So, the roots are negative 2 and positive 8. Ganun lang kasimple. Another example, yung x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10 equals 0. Ito cube, ito pwedeng gamitin dito yung rational root theorem. Sa rational root theorem naman, wag na tayo mag-p over q. Pagsimula na tayo lagi sa positive 1 at saka negative 1 using synthetic division kasi kadalasan naman nasa positive 1 or negative 1 naman yon Pag wala naman sa positive 1, negative 1, dun ka na sa 2. Wag ka na mag-p over q pa kasi hindi naman natin kinukuha po yung kung ilan yung possible roots. Doon naman tayo, recta na tayo doon sa roots mismo. So, gamitin natin yung mga numerical coefficients of each term. So, we have 1, negative 6, positive 3, and positive 10. Gamitin natin muna yung positive 1 as root. Okay, kapag ka ang remainder natin dito ay 0, ibig sabihin si 1 is 1 of the roots. Okay, let us bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. 3 times negative 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 10 plus negative 2, the answer is positive 8. So, since the remainder is not equal to 0, ibig sabihin, si 1 is not a root. Ibig sabihin nun, palit tayo ng number. Di pwede si 1, try natin si negative 1. Now, let us bring down 1. 1 times negative 1, the answer is negative 1. Negative 6 plus negative 1, the answer is negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 1, the answer is 7. 3 plus 7, the answer is 10. 
10 times negative 1, the answer is negative 10. And 10 plus negative 10, the answer is 0. So since the remainder is 0, ibig sabihin, pasok si negative 1 as one of the roots. So tabi muna natin si negative 1 kasi pasok na siya dun sa, sa tatlo. Okay, paano pala natin malalaman kung ilan yung hinahanap natin? Nakabase pa rin tayo doon sa highest exponent. So since the highest exponent is 3, we are expecting na tatlo yung roots yung na ang hinahanap natin. So tabi na natin si negative 1 kasi isa, isa na siya dun sa tatlo. So gagamitin natin yung nasa ibaba, yung 1, negative 7, yung 10 as our coefficients. Okay, so si 1, si negative 7, at saka si 10 yung natira. So gamit tayo ng ibang number. So try natin si positive 2. Okay. So bring down 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. 10 plus negative 10, the answer is 0. So since the remainder is 0, ibig sabihin si positive 2 ay 1 of the roots. So pasok na si 2. So nakakadalawa na tayo. So isa na lang yung hinahanap natin. So since ang natitira natin coefficients ay 1 at saka negative 5, pwede na natin ito i-express as factor 4. So si 1 at saka si negative 1, negative 5. Si negative 5, siya yung constant. Si 1, siya yung may x. So pwede natin i-relate ito as x minus 5. And then equate natin sa 0. So kapag ka ganito, transpose na lang natin si negative 5 to the other side of the equation. So the answer is 5. So lagay natin yung nakita natin kanina na root na negative 1 at saka positive 2. So meron na tayong tatlong value ng x. So therefore, etong tatlo na yung ating roots. So the roots are negative 1, 5, and 2. Ganun lang yun. Okay, another problem. Uh, write a polynomial equation given the following roots. If the roots are negative 3, 4, and negative 1, ano yung polynomial? Ito baliktad. Ang given ay yung roots ang hinahanap kung ano yung polynomial equation. So ang gagawin natin dito, pwede tayong gumamit ng FOIL method kasi doon naman kay familia. For example, si negative 3, si 4, at saka si negative 1, gawin muna natin factored form. So si negative 3, pag pinasok natin doon sa parenthesis, di ba nagiging positive yun? So from negative 3, magiging x plus 3. Si 4, magiging x minus 4. Si negative 1, magiging x plus 1. So gamitin muna natin yung dalawa. So x plus 3, at si x minus 4. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And then add lang natin to. So bring down x squared. Negative 4x plus 3x is negative x. And then bring down negative 12. So ito na yung sagot doon. Sa, ito na yung product doon sa dalawang factor. Then bring down natin si x plus 1. Then multiply natin ulit. x times x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. Negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times 1 is negative x. Negative 12 times x is negative 12x. And negative 12 times 1 is negative 12. Add lang natin to. So, bring down negative 12, negative x plus negative 12x is negative 13x. x squared plus negative x squared is 0. So, pwede natin hindi isulat yun. And then, bring down x cubed. So, the polynomial equation is x cubed minus 13x minus 12 equals 0. So, that is the polynomial equation. Ganun lang yun. Okay? So, yun yung topic na polynomial equation, may, sabi ko nga sa inyo medyo kamukha lang natin siya doon sa polynomial expression. Kapag ka natutunan mo yung polynomial expression, madadalian ka lang sa polynomial equation. Okay? So, hanggang doon lang muna. See you ulit sa next topic. Bye-bye!